what is good everyone welcome back to the channel guys i should have made this video a little sooner i went ahead and saw the new super mario bros movie probably at least a week ago now it's been out longer than that I was gonna make a video the second I finished watching the movie and I've just been so busy. Guys, we gotta talk about this freaking movie. First of all, if you have not seen it, maybe there's gonna be some spoilers in this video. I don't know, we're just kind of talking off the top. So if I spoil something, here is your warning. Go see the movie before you watch a review. I feel like it's just smarter to go watch a movie before you see reviews anyways, because a lot of the times people have reviews on a movie and they might be like, this movie was bad, blah, blah, blah. And then like you go and see it and it might be like the best movie you've ever seen. So I'm not going to say this is the best movie I've ever seen, but dang, was it freaking amazing. I feel like they did everything right. They had singing in it, which I did not expect to actually enjoy Jack Black as Bowser singing peaches peach like if you haven't seen it or you haven't heard that song maybe you're living under a rock I don't know the song is freaking catchy when he first started to sing I was like oh no where are they going with this but then by the end of the song I was like dang I like where they're going with this and then I kind of thought about it and I was like you know what if anybody else in the entire world was playing the role of Bowser I don't know if they could have got away with singing but since it's Jack Black all the music he's done in his entire life and then now him singing as bowser to try and win princess peach <laughs> oh it was freaking amazing guys there's so many easter eggs we could probably do a whole video on just easter eggs like the entire video or excuse me the entire movie i'm looking in the background because once you start to notice certain things like kind of at the beginning of the movie they show this place called uh punch out pizzeria and if you don't know punch out is a game on the nes so i was like huh that's like right there kind of just thrown in your face so literally right after that from like that point of the movie going forward my eyes were like glued to the back of the screen like oh what am i gonna see in the back there's a scene of mario playing the nes which is kind of funny i don't know if that's necessarily an easter egg because that one was just kind of like there but there's like different posters in the background there's just all sorts of freaking stuff i don't know man i really really enjoyed this movie and i had I don't know if I had high hopes going into the movie. I had like decent expectations. I felt like they weren't gonna drop the ball this time. And what I mean by that is a little throwback to the freaking 90s Super Mario movie, which I did watch when I was a kid. And I watched again recently. I think I watched like three months ago. I was like, I kind of want to watch it again. I just remember it being like, it's one of those movies where it was like, I was stoked on it for what it was. Cause I was like a young kid watching that movie. But it was just like, dang, they really like dropped the ball with that movie. Like there's so many different things they could have done a lot better. For example, freaking Goomba in that movie. <laughs> like what did, they... whose idea was it to make Goomba look like that? Like, come on, he looks absolutely crazy. So anyways, fast forward to now, we have a record breaking super mario movie like freaking top of the box office like as a giant nintendo fan which you guys know if you're watching this channel if you're just now tuning in you're gonna find out quick i am a big freaking nintendo lover i've always been drawn to nintendo at an early age and yeah i had uh, i had hopes for this movie i won't say high hopes but i definitely had some hopes for this movie to just pan out to hopefully become successful so that way we can hopefully start getting more and more mario movies now fast forward to now where we're at after seeing the movie after seeing like top of the box office how many records this movie is breaking i think it's become the number one i don't know if it's like anime i think there's some sort of record with like the number one most selling animated film of all time or something like that i might be wrong but somewhere something close to that if, if i'm not mistaken so pretty much what that means guys going forward going forward right like if this movie flopped right if this movie was just oh man people don't like it wow why did they do this why did they do that i don't think we'd be seeing another mario movie at least not for a long time nintendo would be like dang we tried it again we just can't get this right what the heck but no that's not the case that's not the alternate universe we live in we live right here we live in this universe where the super mario movie absolutely freaking crushed it so what does that mean going forward going forward that definitely means we're getting a sequel now if you didn't see the very end the post end credits um there was a little snippet that showed a yoshi egg and it did like the yoshi or whatever he says 
And um, yeah, they showed some Yoshis in this movie. And while watching it, I was like, huh, I wonder when Yoshi's going to show up. And then part of me thought, like, I put my business helmet on for a second. I was like, okay, if I'm making this movie, I want to save some stuff for future movies, assuming the first movie knocks it out of the park. The first movie absolutely knocked it out of the park. So yeah, that means we're definitely going to have some stuff that we need to save for future movies. So obviously, a sequel, we're going to have Yoshi off the bat. So that's freaking awesome. What are they going to do? Are they going to do like the whole prequel thing where it's kind of like Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, which I don't know if it was ever really technically a prequel, but you have baby Mario and baby Luigi, which they did show in this movie for a little bit, which I thought was awesome. But that had me wondering like, okay, what if they do something where Bowser breaks free and then he turns them into babies and then it's kind of like paying homage to Super Mario World 2. I don't know. My freaking brain was just going all over the place like while watching this movie and then after seeing it because i thought oh my gosh the freaking scene where mario is fighting donkey kong felt like something they could do for like a super smash bros movie imagine a freaking like mario universe right like we're, we're already getting the sequel i'm sure i don't know when that's gonna happen hopefully next year but it'll probably be a couple years at least Let's say they start branching out. Let's say they give Bowser his own movie. Princess Peach could easily have her own movie. They could do like a Toad spinoff movie. Donkey Kong, I feel like, could definitely get his own movie. But are these all going to be animated? I feel like a lot of them will be because that's kind of a safe bet for Nintendo right now. But could you imagine them doing something like Zelda, but like making that live action? I feel like that would be incredible. Also, something like Metroid. I feel like there's certain Nintendo IPs like Metroid and Zelda. Things like that could definitely do a live action. Would we ever see another live action Mario movie? I don't think so. I don't think they're gonna <laughs> I don't think they're gonna take the risk on that ever again. I don't think, but I guess you never know. Would we ever see like a live action like Kirby movie? Like, no, they could easily do an animated movie, which would be amazing. But yeah, long story short, if you clicked on this video, you already know my opinion on the movie. I thought it was amazing. Usually I do not go and see movies more than one time in the theater. And as of this video dropping, I have not seen it a second time, but part of me like really wants to go see it again while it's in theaters. And I never really care to see movies more than once. If I don't go see it in theaters, I'll probably just wait for it to be streaming and I'll definitely watch it again as soon as I'm able to streaming just because I loved it so much. And I feel like there's going to be stuff that I just didn't notice the first time, like just little things in the background, more Easter eggs. Like one, I didn't realize till after the fact, I actually watched another YouTube video on just Easter eggs you might have missed. And one of them, which I didn't even notice during the movie, was Luigi's cell phone was ringing, and apparently it played the GameCube intro song. Like, you know, you know what I'm talking about, the freaking classic intro, the classic startup, and apparently that was his ringtone. So that's something I didn't even notice. Now, like, next time seeing the movie, I'm going to be looking out for that. Like, oh, yeah, that, that's cool. Like, I don't know, guys. I freaking love the movie. Drop some comments. I gotta hear from y'all. This channel is not just about me. It's about y'all. It's about Nintendo as a whole, the Nintendo community. Drop some comments and let me know if you saw the movie. First of all, what did you think? Be very honest. You, you're you not gonna hurt my feelings if you're like, that movie sucked. Sonic was better. Like, honestly, I don't care. Like, say whatever you want in the comments. I just wanna know your honest opinions. Did you think it was amazing? Did you think it was okay? Did you think it was, eh, I wish they would have done this. I wish it could have been better. Like, let me know where you're at. Um, and then also, let me know what you think Nintendo is going to do in the future. Do you think we're going to get a sequel? Do you think this is going to be part of a trilogy? Do you think they're going to start branching out and do like the spinoff movies? Like maybe Donkey Kong gets a movie, even though Kirby wasn't in this movie. I don't think, now I have to think about it. I'm like, no, Kirby was not in this movie. Kirby and Mario don't really like, they're not clashing in any of the game. Well, obviously they clash in Super Smash Bros, but in terms of like, there's not like a Mario versus Kirby game out there. Like, oh, Mario and Kirby take on whatever. That would be kind of cool, but I feel like they'll do something. Like now this movie has like broken different barriers for Nintendo. They've kicked down the freaking walls. They're probably like, oh man, what else can we do? Like, let's, let's do this. Let's do that. Let's do that. Like they have a huge budget now, I'm sure going forward, even though they probably already had a huge budget because people like me, you're constantly just giving them all our money. Guys, drop those comments. I got to hear from y'all hit that subscribe button, especially if you want to stay in the loop for future videos. We drop YouTube shorts pretty often on this channel. So if that's your thing, go check that out. If you like some of the longer videos, there's plenty of videos for you guys to watch as well. We're doing Nintendo news. We're doing Nintendo hunting where we go to like different 
different stores, pawn shops, wherever we can find like Nintendo video games and toys and stuff like that. And then we do unboxings here on this channel as well. And of course we do some reviews too. So guys, check out all the other videos if that's what you're into. And if not, I appreciate you checking this one out. Once again, drop some comments. I want to hear from y'all. I want to reply to you guys as well. So I always appreciate seeing the feedback and stuff like that. Guys, let me know what y'all thought about this movie. I want to hear from you guys. Until next time, I appreciate all of y'all. Peace.